What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Oak Tree Football Channel. Today, I will finish my NFL predictions by division. I've done seven divisions so far, and today I do the only one left, which is the AFC North, and then in a few days, I will do my playoff predictions. But the AFC North, in my opinion, is either the second or third best division in the NFL. In my opinion, the NFC West is the best, and then the AFC West and the AFC North are both pretty close or, uh, or number two. So it's a very, very good division. There are some very good teams in it. Um, obviously, they had the best team in the regular season last year, the Baltimore Ravens, and the worst team in the regular season last year, the Cincinnati Bengals. But I think this uh, division got better this offseason. I think it's going to be a very, very uh, good division to watch this year. But without further ado, let's get into uh, my final divisional prediction, starting with number four, where I have the Cincinnati Bengals coming in with 5-11. and 11. Now, the Bengals were the worst team in the NFL last year, but I definitely think they improved this offseason. Uh, of course, they drafted Joe Burrow with the first pick in the draft. He was incredible in college, fantastic player. Uh, they picked up Von Bell from the Saints, which I thought was a really good signing. They brought back A.J. Green. So they, they made a lot of good moves this offseason that are really going to help them out. And I, I think they'll they'll win a few more games. I was close to putting them 4-12, and 12, but I think they're good enough to win uh, five games, seven, so five, and eleven. So starting at quarterback, they have Joe Burrow. Burrow was incredible last season in college. Um, there were some people who were predicting predicting him to improve uh, last season, but nobody expected him to have the season he had. Arguably the best season by a quarterback in college football history. Uh, very deserving of the first pick. He's going to be good. I really, really think so. Uh, and I think the Bengals may be able to get, you know, one surprise upset this year against a pretty good team. Uh, and I think he can be really good. He'll, he's definitely going to be a contender for uh, Rookie of the Year. At running back, they have Joe Mixon, who they recently signed to a big contract extension. Mixon is a really, really good player. Pretty underrated running back. Could be a Pro, Bowl, pro Bowler this year. Uh, one of the better in the AFC, maybe even in the NFL. Uh, he's a good receiving back. Uh, but obviously even better at running the ball. Uh, and when Joe Burrow is struggling this year, which he will because he is a rookie, uh, Mixon is a great player he can hand the ball off to. Wide receiving group is really good. They drafted T. Higgins in the second round, then they already had Tyler Boyd and A.J. Green. Uh, and John Ross is really starting to you know, play better in his career. So this is a solid receiving group. Uh, if John Ross can improve more, it's going to get even better. If T. Higgins can play good, obviously it's going to be even better. And Green is getting older. Green didn't play much last season, but uh, he can definitely be good this season. That's a really solid receiving group, and it's going to be a lot of help for Joe Burrow. Tight end, they have Drew Sample and C.J. Ozoma. Uh, not the best tight end group. Uh, offensive line. Offensive line is not the strongest, but Jonah Williams did not play last year. was a first-round pick last year. This year, he's going to be have his chance to play. So we'll get to see him for the first time. I think he could be good. Offensive line isn't great, um, but... It's not bad, uh, in my opinion. Then looking at the defense, the defensive end, they have Sam Hubbard and Carlos Dunlap. Dunlap is a really good player. Hubbard is solid as well. Um, defensive tackle, they have uh, DJ Reader and Geno Atkins. Uh, Atkins is getting up there in age, but he's still a really, really good defensive tackle, arguably one of the best in the league. Uh, and He can play on a high level. He's a really, really good player, and he's probably going to retire soon, but... He could have a good season this year. Linebacking group, they drafted Logan Wilson. They have Josh Bynes uh, and uh, Jermaine Pratt. Pretty good pretty good linebacking group. Not the best, but not poor, I would say, as well. Uh, and then cornerbacks, they have uh, Mackenzie Alexander, William Jackson the third, uh, and Trey Wayne. So that's a solid cornerbacking group. And at safeties, they signed Von Bell and have Jesse Bates. Solid secondary, solid defense, solid offense. I think this team is going to be pretty good this season. Uh, I think five... Somewhere between four to six wins seems accurate for me. I've been finishing five and eleven bottom of the AFC North. Next up, coming in at number three, I have the Cleveland Browns with a record of eight and eight. Now, of course, last season, uh, last off season, the Browns made a lot of good moves, and people thought they were going to be one of the best teams in the NFL, and they just were not very good uh, at all last year. But um, this year, a lot of people are saying they're going to be good again, and I don't necessarily think they're going to be great. But I think they will definitely improve from last year. If they don't improve, there's going to be some issues. Uh, their new head coach is Kevin Stefanski. I believe he was formerly the offensive coordinator for the Minnesota Vikings. He he can definitely do a good job. I'm excited to see how he how he handles this Browns team. Quarterback they have Baker Mayfield. Mayfield was fantastic as a rookie, but last year, not great. Uh, interceptions. He threw a lot of interceptions. If he can limit on the interceptions, the Browns could be could be pretty good this season. Uh, but I mean, he, he needs to do some work um, if he wants to really be able to take this team to the playoffs, which is which is a possibility. Uh, running backs, they have Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. 
Hunt was great a few years ago, but hasn't been as good since uh, he was suspended, I believe, last season. Uh, Nick Chubb is an elite running back already, in my opinion. He's only played in the league for two seasons, but he's probably the second or third best running back in the AFC. Uh, probably top five, maybe just outside in the NFL. So he's a really, really good player. Uh, that's going to be a big help for them this season. Receiving group is pretty good with Odell Beckham Jr. and Jarvis Landry. Uh, they were teammates in college. They're teammates again now. That That's... They're, they can, they're, those two guys are really, really good receivers. They are, but last year they didn't play great. Landry played pretty well, but Beckham, not great. I, he wasn't bad, but he could have played a lot better. And then they have Rashad Higgins, who is also pretty solid. And they drafted Donovan Peoples-Jones. Um, at tight end, they they have a great tight end group. Uh, they signed Austin Hooper, and they have David Njoku. Very, very good tight end group. Austin Hooper was one of the best tight ends in the NFL last year before he got injured, so that's great for them. Offensive line not great. They have to draft. They had to draft uh, left tackle Jedrick Wills Jr. with their first round pick. Uh, Wills is a solid player. I, I think that was a good pick by them. Uh, and at right tackle they have Jan- Jack Conklin, who's a solid player. They have a few solid players in that line, but it definitely could be better. Uh, defense they have Miles Garrett uh, and uh, Olivier Vernon. Two solid defensive ends. Miles Garrett is really he's a, he's a really good player. He was taken with the first pick a few years ago. Um, he, he's been very good in his career, and I think it's possible he could even be a contender for Defensive Player of the Year this season. I think he could could be that good. Uh, defensive tackles, they have Larry Ogunjobi and Sheldon Richardson. Both of those guys had have been solid in the past, but not as good. Um, not great, but they've been solid in the past. Linebacking group, um, they have BJ Goodson uh, and Tay Davis. Ty Davis, sorry, not the best linebacking group, but not bad. Not bad. Um, it, it definitely could be a lot better, though, I would say. Cornerbacks, they have Denzel Ward and Greedy Williams. Uh, I really liked Greedy Williams in ho- college. He's solid. He was rookie last year, can definitely improve the season. But Denzel Ward can be a really, really good cornerback. He's been okay in his career so far, but I think he could have a big step up this year. Could be a pro bowler. Um, he can be really, really good, in my opinion. So he's a player to watch out for. And then safeties, they have Andrew Sandejo and Carl Joseph, both solid. So this is – oh, and they recently traded for Ronnie Harrison from the Jacksonville Jaguars. So solid team. I've been finishing 8-8, eight eight, just about average. I could see them sneaking into the playoffs. Um, but, you know, it's going to be tough. Uh, there are some solid teams in the AFC this year, and they're in a tough division. So I've been finishing 8-8, uh, eight eight, which will be third in their division. Next up, coming in at number two with a record of 10-6, and six, I have the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, the Steelers have missed the playoffs for the past two years, but I think that will most likely change this season. They have an elite defense and a solid offense. Uh, with Ben Roethlisberger coming back, they made some good offseason signings, and I think that will be enough to get them uh, to the playoffs this year. Quarterback, they have Ben Roethlisberger coming back this year. They managed to go 8-8 eight eight last year with Devlin Hodges and Mason Rudolph sharing snaps. That's impressive. Um, and with Ben Roethlisberger coming back, he's been in the league for a while. I believe this is his 16th season. I believe he could retire at any time, but he will be playing for this season, and I think it's going to be a good season for him and the Steelers, um, and I think he'll be solid this season. I don't think he'll be great, but he definitely will not be bad uh, with the Steelers this season. Running backs, they have James Conner as a starter, and then backing him up, they have Benny Snell Jr., uh, Jalen Samuels, and Anthony McFarland Jr., Solid running back group. They have some good backups, and James Conner can be a really good player. Wasn't as good last year, in my opinion, but he can uh, normally be a pretty good receiver. Uh, wide receiving group is okay. Juju Smith-Schuster was not impressive last year, but he has been impressive in his career so far. Uh, James Washington um, and Deontay Johnson, who was a rookie last year. And then they drafted Chase Claypool in the second round. Solid receiving group. But not great. They don't have a true number one receiver. I think Juju can be the number one receiver, uh, Smith Schuster. But last year he did not prove that. But I think he can get better this year. We'll just have to see. At tight end, they have Vance McDonald and they signed Eric Ebron from the Indianapolis Colts. Ebron's a really good tight end. Uh, and McDonald can play on a pretty high level as well. So, really good tight end group. Offensive line is really good. They have uh, Alejandro Villanueva. Um, sorry. Alejandro Villanueva. Uh, Mar- uh, Marquise Pouncey. David DeCastro, just to name a few players there. Very solid offensive line. Should should be very good for them this season. Looking on the defense, the defense is great. Uh, defensive end, they have Stephon Tewitt. Tewitt's, Tewitt's solid, um, but he's not the best defensive end in the league. I think that's pretty obvious, but he definitely uh, can play on a pretty high level. Defensive tackle, they have Cameron Hayward. Hayward is a really, really good player. Uh, he probably is one of the better defensive tackles uh, in the in the NFL. They did uh, lose Javon Hargrave to the Philadelphia Eagles, but they still have uh, Hayward and he should be pretty good for them this season. Linebacking group, linebacking group is fantastic. 
Bud Dupree has been solid in the past. Was pretty good last year. Vince Williams, uh, he's okay. Uh, Devin Bush Jr., uh, second round pick. He was solid last year. And specifically TJ Watt. TJ Watt was incredible last year. Um, will probably be a defensive player of the year finalist. He's just an incredible player. He's fantastic. Should have another great season, in my opinion. Cornerbacks, Joe Hayden, uh, Steven Nelson, Mike Hilton. Solid cornerback group. Um, it really is a solid cornerback group. I mean, Joe Hayden was pretty good last year. I believe he made the Pro Bowl. Steven Nelson can be pretty good. And same with Mike Hilton. So it's a good cornerback group. And then same with they've Terrell Edmonds taken in the 2018 draft. Uh, it was kind of a surprise how high they took him. But he's been good in his career so far. And Minka Fitzpatrick, after he was tra- traded to the Steelers, he has just been incredible. He was good with the Dolphins, but even better with the Steelers. Maybe, probably not, but maybe he can be a candidate for defensive defensive player of the year. But this is a great team overall, uh, in my opinion. I've been finishing 10-6. and six. Um, most likely breaking their spell and making it um, back to the playoff. And finally, winning the division, I have the Baltimore Ravens with a record of 13-3. and The Ravens were obviously the best team in the regular season uh, last year in the NFL, finishing 14-2. and And while I don't think they'll be that good again, I still think they're going to be a really good team. Uh, so I have them finishing 13-3, and which is one of the best records in the NFL. I think this team is really good. They probably got better this offseason as well, which is, you know, kind of scary when you think about it, that this team could be even better. I don't think they'll be as good, but I still think they'll be good. Um, Lamar Jackson, their quarterback, won last year's MVP. Um, He was incredible. He definitely deserved it. Uh, He was just... He was the best player in last year's regular season, and he definitely deserved to win that MVP. He's probably going to have another good season. I don't think he'll win MVP. But he, he should still be a really good player and should still have a good season, uh, definitely this year. Uh, running backs, uh, they have Mark Ingram from last year. The, the running game was great last year. Uh, Lamar Jackson, obviously, uh, with over 1,200 rush yards, the record for a quarterback, and led the NFL in touchdown passes. Um, but running game was brilliant for them last year. Mark Ingram uh, was great. Gus Edwards was solid. Justice Hill. And this year they added J.K. Dobbins to that as well. Dobbins has been great in camp so far. Uh, so I think Dobbins can make a big impact for the Ravens this season. Wide receiver group. Wide receiving group isn't great, I'm going to be honest. Uh, Marquise Brown, uh, Willie Sneed, Miles Bork, Boykin are the starters. But then they also have Devin Duvernay, who they drafted, and James Prochet, who they also drafted. Not the best receiving group. That may hurt them a little bit. But at the tight end, they have Mark Andrews. Andrews is a really solid tight end. And then back him up, they have Nick Boyle, who's also really good. Uh, so they're they're pretty. They have some good tight ends. Uh, and offensive line is really good as well. They have Ronnie Stanley. Um, Orlando Brown, who's been good, DJ Fluker, Matt Skura, uh, and Bradley Bozeman there. So, very, very good offense. Uh, looking at the defense, the defensive end, they traded for Calais Campbell, which was just a fantastic trade um, for them. That's going to be great for them going forward. Uh, and he is he is getting up there in age, but he's still a really, really good defensive end. Defensive tackle, they have Derek Wolf. Uh, He's solid. I mean, I don't think of him as him as an elite player, but he's definitely not bad. Linebacking group, uh, they have Matt Judon, uh, Jalen Ferguson, uh, Patrick Queen, uh, the rookie, and LJ Fort. Patrick Queen is going to be pretty good, in my opinion. I think he was kind of a steal that they got him so late in the first round. Uh, cornerbacks, they have Marcus Peters uh, and Marlon Humphrey, and then they also have Tavon Young uh, there. So really, really good cornerback group. And then they have Jimmy Smith as well. Uh, Marlon Humphrey is a really good corner. Same with Marcus Peters. Those guys are really good. And they've some solid backups. And then at safety, they have Chuck Clark and uh, Elliot Deshaun. Not the best safeties, but still fine. Or, sorry, Deshaun Elliott. Uh, but that that is a very, very good Ravens team. I definitely think they should top this division. Uh, I've been finishing 13-3. and three. I think they'll finish somewhere around that. I think this team is just too good to not, to not be great this season. So, um... I have Baltimore Ravens finishing 13-3, and top of the AFC North. So those are my AFC North predictions for this season. Uh, now I've, that I've finished every division predictions in a few days, I'll be making playoff predictions and eventually revealing who I think will win this year's Super Bowl. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe for more NFL and college football content. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.